Hello and welcome to Midi's Tech Circle. So yeah, in today's video I have exciting news. You can finally remap the Bixby button. So, oh sorry. <laughs> so yeah, everyone knows this button. This is the Bixby button. And many YouTubers and many people complained about this button, the Bixby button. And yeah, in today's video, I want to show you how you can finally remap the Bixby button to do something else than just opening Bixby. So if you don't use Bixby and you want to use this button without apps like BX Actions, which actually I think don't work with Android Pie, you can do it finally in the Bixby settings officially. So we are now at the point where Samsung is noticing and getting feedback and reacting on feedback so yeah let's say it's never too late and i think they thought also it's never too late so here is how you do that so how you do you do that you go to bixby so now you have to use the bixby button the last time you want to use it if you don't like bixby to go to the bixby settings i personally like bixby so I said double tap Bixby button to get to Bixby. So when we are here, okay, this is in German, so I switched my phone language to um, English, but Bixby is still on German, but that doesn't matter. Um, I mean, I can quickly change that for you guys. You see what I do for you just because you are my fellows. Okay, so here we are in the Bixby voice settings and you will see an option called Bixby key. So first, in order to make or to be able to change that, you want to make sure that you have the latest Bixby update installed. So um, usually it will give you a prompt in the Bixby app that there is a new version available, but if not, you just go to Galaxy Store, you can also um, do a long press and then you go to updates and then it will search for updates available and it should be free Bixby apps that have to be um, updated in order to get this new remap thing. So let's go back to the Bixby settings here and you want to go to Bixby key and there we go. So. Basically, you had this thing, Bixby key, the setting before, but before you were just, um, you were just able to change between single press to open Bixby and double press to open Bixby. So, um, single press is that what was the most annoying thing for most users. So that when you accidentally pressed Bixby, the Bixby key that you launched or fired up Bixby, over something you were doing and that was annoying but then you had the option to double press to open Bixby so like I did before you double tap and then you will just open up Bixby and now you will see that we have multiple options so let's say you want set single press to open Bixby I don't know because you like Bixby then you will have the option to select use double press because the single press will then be Bixby and double press, you can now enable it to run something. But I want to show you this with double press to open Bixby. I think this will be the option the most um, users will use because they don't want to fire up Bixby by just pressing one time. So double press to open Bixby. It's clear. I um, explained that before. But now we have something called use single press. So the single press is not mapped. By default but you can go here right to uh, use single press to the option and you can select run quick commands or open an app I think the option here with open app app will be the most used one and the most appreciated one but we have the ability to um, run quick commands so if you created a quick command in Bixby like um, what you want to say to Bixby like um, good morning and it will um, adjust the brightness of your screen, um, s go to vibration mode, turn off do not disturb mode, 
um, open a specific app, maybe play some music, you know, that's like Google Routines and Google Assistant. And now you can run these quick commands not only by saying them to Bixby by voice, you can also select if you press it once or twice, so it depends on what you are selecting or which option you are choosing, you can run a quick command. But let's head here over to open app. So here you will basically get um, a complete overview on all your apps you have. So you will get the free um, Bixby related apps here on the top which are not in an alphabetical order. So um, Bixby Home, Bixby Vision and Reminder are here. But then you will basically see all your apps you have, oops, sorry, <laughs> all your apps you have installed on your phone. So I have selected YouTube Music and this is how it works. You just press the Bixby key and voila, you will open up or fire up YouTube Music instead, instead of Bixby. So that's great. And I mean, you can select every app you want, every app which is installed. And you remember back on Oreo? So Oreo was like, um, you could disable the Bixby key, so it won't bring up Bixby Home. So maybe someone out there is using Bixby Home and yeah, just want to access Bixby Home in another way than just um, over the home screen, you can do that. You can go to open app, then select Bixby Home and it will be like an Oreo. If you press now your Bixby key, you will open up uh, Bixby Home. And yeah, you can really use every app. But what I want to clarify is that you can not actually run or open up the Google Assistant. You can select the Google app, but this will just open up the search box. So this will do the same thing like if you would um, just uh, tapping here on the Google widget. So um, maybe that's still a nice thing if you want to Google something pretty quickly from every app you are currently using, but you cannot replace it with the Google Assistant. That's the main thing. So before I get many questions about that, I want to clarify that in this video. Also, a side note that I want to tell you is that I got a new software update. So the last one was the Febra February patch, which added um, schedule for night mode and stability for Wi-Fi, NFC, email and gestures. But today I got a 90.57 megabyte um, update. And um, this update, yeah, this change lock is the old one from the update before but um, I don't know what this update contains, maybe stability improvements, hopefully also some battery improvements because battery is not that great. If you wanna see a review on the One UI after I think I'm using it since November, since the beta, you can leave a comment down below and ask me uh, if I should do a review on the One UI or on the Galaxy S9 Plus in general. And yeah, I hope to see you soon here. I hope these are great news for you and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, have a great day, have a great weekend, bye.